Hello everyone, this is ASMR. If today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll show you a uh, new tricks to uh, edit the outdoor portrait. Uh, okay, let's see the previous image. Uh, which one was the previous? Okay, I'm turning off the gradient and cross. This one was a stock and non-edited image. And after adding the effect, you are getting this okay uh, you need three things uh, for this editing uh, one plugins and two techniques the plugins is the google nick collection that is the plugins and you should update your uh, photoshop into creative cloud otherwise you won't get the camera filter by default or you can edit that manually so let's start the tutorial before we start the tutorial uh, i want to say one thing don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend okay uh, go to the file and place open after pressing the open uh, you i'm just opening up this image i'll give the download link and the credit line of this image in my video description if you need you can download this one for your practice purpose okay uh, after that just i'm making a copy by pressing ctrl j and after that go to the filter and the blur gallery and the tile shift or till shift whatever you can tell and after that i want to just rotate the lines like that and i want to make it like that and after that i will just increase the blur yeah and the light bokeh the light bokeh like that yeah that's good and you can adjust the things like that okay you can adjust all the thing here is a line you are just getting that the background has a line and you can rotate this one like that it could be nice yeah after that hit the ok button it will take time to reload and give you the blurry output like that more blurry and more rich effect okay after that i'll go to the filter and the camera filter after going to the camera filter i will add effect or preset uh, which i will give the download link in my video description so here is the options go to these options and the load settings option preset that is the new look and hit the open button yeah the before one and after one yeah this one is the before and after okay you are getting the before and after yes and hit the ok button you'll get the change in the before one and after one after adding the blurry effect okay after that go to the adjustment layer and the gradient options and from the gradient option just unlock this one and just select this gradient and after that in the drop down menu and make it radial and make the angle zero and make the scale 350 and just reverse this one and the dither and hit the ok button after that select these two things press the right button and convert to smart object yeah it will take time and after that go to the filter options and google nick collection this one is the plugins and i'll give the download link in my video description and select the color fx pro it will take time to load in your pc it depends on the pc configurations okay and hit the ok button after that i'm using the cross processing this one this filter and here is the other methods and you can use them and i just use this one or you can use this one okay l03 and hit the ok button you can adjust the strength if you need okay and hit the ok button it will take time to save the image and give you the output yeah the before one and after one you are getting these amazing techniques 
from this tutorial okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and press the like button until the next video i may see my signing out and bye bye